Welcome to Modern Dallas TV. I'm Jeff Levine with ModernDallas.net. Welcome to our first edition of an extension of our weekly newsletter that we've been emailing for the past eight years. This week, we'll feature an exquisite home in the Bluffview area, as well as stop by Loom Gallery and talk about their shows with Ron Radwanski and George Tabalowski. Modern Dallas Real Estate is here today at 4215 Shawcrest Drive in Bluffview, Texas. It's listed by uh, Becky Fry team with Briggs Freeman Sotheby's. I'm fortunate enough to have Elizabeth Conroy with us today from the team. Elizabeth, tell us a little bit about this property. Sure. The home was built in 2010 by architect Mark Moulton. As you enter the home, no detail is overlooked. It's absolutely beautiful. It sits on a beautiful lot in Bluffview. It gives you a quiet country feel, yet you're right in the heart of the city. It absolutely is beautifully located, very serene, quiet. They have a gorgeous backyard. Absolutely. You know, I know there's an extension of the yard and looks beyond the normal marking of the uh, property line. What is back there? Right, so the home sits on a 0.63 one acre lot. It offers a beautiful pool a large grassy backyard area, and a bonus, you have a creek view that's very, very beautiful. This is a magnificent home in Bluffview. If you'd like more information, contact Becky Fry or the Becky Fry team. It's just recently listed, so uh, hurry up, come see it, and we'll see you later. Modern Dallas Art is here today with uh, Ron Radwanski of Illum Gallery. We're currently here to see the shows of George Tobolowski as well as Ron's work. Ron, give us a little overview of these shows. Yes, actually we're very excited to have George Tobolowski, who's a local artist. His uh, studio is in Mountain Spring, Texas, and one of the unique things about George's work is his uh, pieces are actually what they call found objects, which are found objects from junkyards and um, Steel, uh, steel fabricating places that he will go to and take these actual pieces and bend them, weld them, and create these gigantic mon monstrous sculptures. But on the other hand, a very kind of small collection that we've been exclusive to have this last month. Um, one of the most signature pieces he's recently done is across at Loon Park, which is for public art. It is a piece that's about 22 feet high out of a missile casing, and the top of the piece is a purple rondelle which actually goes with the purple colors of the aluminum, which brings back the corporate art to public art to pedestrian art. It's a very nice piece. Tell us a little bit about your collection. That's very exciting to me. I've been painting my 16th year right now, and I came out with a collection called Oceano, which is the waves. Um, I did a collection like this for the galleries I was in in Hawaii and La Jolla in California. But most recently doing this with the circle upon the circle, it creates a circle of life type concept that I did some time ago, but these pieces actually have all different colors of waves. They're going to be a monochromatic series along with the jewel tone series, which you see here by the pearl. Excellent. Ron, this is another wonderful collection, the uh, Deanna series. What's the inspiration for this uh, body of work? Well, thank you, Jeff. This actually comes from, usually I get my ideas just from sketching out. But, this was uh, from an antique piece of glass that a friend of mine brought me back from Paris. And the piece actually had the design that you see with the gold. And I thought what a wonderful interpretation it would make of taking that design and doing it 24 karat gold and also in silver that you see here. So it has sort of a freeform effect to it, which is a little bit non-traditional from my works that are much more calculated. But this kind of brings out a different side of me. So it's uh, very unique in its own way. This is a wonderful show. Definitely worth stopping by. Illum Galleries at 4123 Cedar Springs, Suite 107. Come say hi to Ron, and we'll see you later. Modern Dallas is here at Madani Furniture in the Galleria area at 4700 Alpha Road. We stopped by to see this great space. It's a 25,000 square foot showroom of modern, neoclassic, as well as transitional furniture. Within each collection, they've got dining, bedrooms, lighting, accessories and rugs. They also have some artwork in a gallery space and a great outdoor collection. Stop by 4700 Alpha Road. Enjoy it. Modern Dallas Art features most of the art galleries, 
that participate in CAD and Dada organizations. This week, CAD has their openings on May the 16th. Take a look at our website, look at all the listings and times. Featured shows this week, Todd Camplin at Holly Johnson Gallery, and many more great shows. Coming up on uh, Modern Dallas Calendar, May the 19th, the Dallas Architectural Forum has their 365 Modern Series. It's a great opportunity to see some of the finest modern homes in Dallas. That's from 6 to 8 p.m. And on the 20th, the Dallas Modern Meetup at uh, 1201 South Irvay Street, the Cedars Union Building from 6 to 8 p.m. As well as Preservation Dallas has their event shaping the city at the Dallas Center for Architecture as well on the 20th. Check out Modern Dallas Calendar. If there are any tickets to purchase, you can get all the details at our calendar on moderndallas.net. Modern Dallas has some other exciting opportunities. Check out our employment section if you're in the market for a modern job. If you're looking for secondhand furniture, we've got a great selection at Modern Dallas for sale. And if you're in the market to purchase a home, a mid-century modern contemporary or high-rise or loft, take a look at some of the finest listings in Dallas and hopefully you'll find a beautiful home. Until next week, we'll see you later.